This is how it goes, Tommy, right? Yeah. If at any point my camera's up, you already lost. Yeah, yeah. You got to have your... What's this? Alfa Jorge. What? It's a treat. Oh. Hold on. Let me finish my sentence. Okay, okay, okay. God damn it. That, I'm like a goddamn barracuda. <laughs> that was great. My mouth started watering and everything. <laughs> I was like, what the... hundred <laughs> percent. I got my shipment from Watch Gang. Holy shit, was I blown away. Three watches. They asked me what I liked. I said, steel. They then said, what size do you like? And I was like, I didn't even know I liked sizes. And then I was like, I think the biggest, right? They show up in a leather case, open it. I felt like I felt like a millionaire. And by the way, I didn't spend a million dollars. It was awesome. Watch Gang is the world's largest watch club and revolutionizing the way we buy and discover watches. That's the interesting thing. For the longest time, there's been one watch. Yeah. That's what you have. Now you can discover watches. You can try different things too. Like you can do stainless steel, rubber, leather bands. Like you can mix up so you have like a versatile kind of you know yeah. collection of watches. For the average enthusiast, the agile, average casual enthusiast can now find and build their own collection. Watch Gang members also get a chance to win a free Rolex every Friday and a tag hewer every Tuesday. Shut the fuck up. Go to watchgang.com slash bears and get started now. Use the code bears for 20% off your first purchase. That's watchgang.com slash bears, promo code bears for 20% off. This episode of Two Bears, One Cave is brought to you by Sattva. Listen, you have to get yourself a high quality mattress without spending a crazy amount of money. And that's what Sattva is all about. They bring you environmentally friendly products, top of the line, like luxury level stuff you'd find in a five-star hotel. You can now have in your home. They have mattress takeaway service. So you just, when they come, they take your crappy old mattress away. They set you up incredible customer service and they have everything. You can get like a, like I said, a luxury firm mattress. You can get a memory foam mattress, their Lumen Leaf line, or you can even get yourself a mattress that moves the solaire vibrates we've been sleeping on them all for years they're incredible they're a great company they're offering our listeners uh, a, a really awesome premium if you go to sattva s-a-a-t-v-a.com slash the shit you get money towards the purchase of any mattress you choose so just go ahead and go to sattva.com s-a-a-t-v-a.com slash the shit and start with a credit towards any mattress of your choice hey man i gotta tell you you look sharp I was just about to compliment you on your tracksuit. It feels pretty good. It's really nice. Don't you like it? Pinstripes are the way to go, bro. Slimming. It's very slimming. How do you feel about a pinstripe suit? You like, like, would you wear a suit that's pinstriped? I don't know if I'd ever wear a suit. Period? I mean, oh, I wonder what I'll wear at my trial. Funeral. funeral. Trial. Funeral. Court. Not going to court. You're charged with a Whoa, crime. we should do some fucking suits, Tom. I know. Look at that. Look at that that black one, right? Uh, yeah. See if the Sewing Brothers on, do suits. Man. I would like a. Oh, fucking so shout kid. out to the Sewing Brothers. Shout out to the Sewing Brothers. They sent us. They sent us a bunch of. Track by the suits. way, we're not sponsored by the Sewing Brothers. No. They just sent us a bunch of tracksuits. Yeah. Well, it started because you texted me and said, "Check out this tracksuit I just bought," mm -hmm. and I said, "Oh my god, I saw that the other day and was thinking about buying one." And you're like, "We should buy them together." So we bought two tracksuits, and then we never wore them at the same time. Yeah. And then I. This accident. is them. This is their stuff, right? Yeah, this is us. This is them. This is us, uh, really. Wait, is there is there suits here? Are there suits? I think so. Do I they speak got, English. They I got. They do not speak great English. I don't oh. think. Wait, go back up though. Shut up! They have matching masks for their suits. Do they have what's me, winter winter jacket men? The, so the, some of these are expensive too. Are they? Yeah, yeah, like a thousand bucks. What? Yeah, or maybe pounds. That's 189 bucks. It's one of the ones I saw was really nice. Is this their like, actual site though? This is Etsy. It's, it's on Etsy, Etsy but it's their not, account, it looks like. Go to the Sewing Brothers have a site. It's on their Instagram page. But we bought their tracksuits and then I put on one of their tracksuits right after we had done the new the Super Bowl show. Yeah. And I had a ta I accidentally took ten thousand dollars worth of fake one hundreds and I went around splashing fake hundreds around in a sewing brothers suit. Yeah. Like a gangster. And then they hit me up and they're like, that's a funny video. Okay, hit shop there. So the glad you like our suits. That was our first original one, right? Yeah. Let's go to... Oh, okay. They are legit. They're in Uzbekistan. That's where they are? Yeah. But the ship... I thought the shipment came from... Hitmen. Yeah. Didn't it come from the Ukraine? No. Is it not? 
maybe the Ukraine. Am I mixing them up? Is maybe. Uzbekistan in the Ukraine? No. It's definitely not. Well, hang on. Uzbekistan? I'm, yeah, it's real close to the Ukraine. I think oh, it's all, maybe I think close, it's all in it's the Ukraine. The, the Ukraine's more like uh, when you go to the Midwest. <laughs> no. When you... <laughs> So I'm, I'm from the Midwest. That means the Ukraine. Like they all say pop and soda. Uh, right, right. <laughs> I'll type in. Yeah. Uh, okay. They, they just, I, I texted them and I was like, hey. Hey, that's what we're rocking right there. Yeah. Pinstripes. Pinstripes, baby. Tight. I dig it. I really dig it. I Thanks, love guys. these suits. I love, I, yeah, I'll tell you what I like. I'm really into uh, having something fun to wear. Yes. You know, I, I, I used to have a bit about that um, straight guys got the shackles of heterosexuality which were um just jeans and a t-shirt that was all we were allowed to wear jeans right. t-shirt maybe you could spice it up with some sneakers yeah yeah things are evolving though right yeah and now you can just fucking do you yeah. do the thing because i do this sometimes where i get let's say awesome pair of sneakers or awesome jacket and then you're gonna go just leave the house and you look at it and you're like well i can't wear that because that's awesome that's special i gotta save it for like and then all of a sudden You've had it like six months. You're like, but those are my specials, and you're not wearing it. Yeah, well, you know? I that's so funny. If it, I there are there are shoes I won't wear. I bought three pairs of special Adidas. I really got into Adidas lately. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and I won't wear them because I don't want to get them dirty. Because mm -hmm. I want to wear them on stage, but I don't go on stage. I haven't been on stage in a year, so I've had these three shoes. They're yeah. a year old. I've never fucking worn them. I respect the, sh the show shoes, though. I, I travel with show shoes. I have show shoes that I, I had show shoes I kept in a bag. Yeah, that's that's when you take it seriously, man. I love good show shoes. Yeah. For, oh, for sure. I miss doing stand up right now. I miss. I want to be on tour. I want to be in a tour bus. I, I want to be fucking hungover, eating edibles at night. Oh, I miss that. You know what I used to do? I used mm. to take uh, CBD gummies. Yeah. And the ones that are jammed in with the melatonin and all yeah. that shit. And then I'd take these mint, these mint flavored edibles and I'd crush them up. Yeah. And I'd sprinkle them over the gummies and I wouldn't tell anybody. Yeah. And then we'd all eat marijuana and That's no nice. one knew. But it wasn't a lot of marijuana. You know what I've been doing lately? What? I've been eating edibles at night yeah. and I go, I, t I eat them like around eight and I go, oh, and this way like I'll want to go to bed in like a couple, of, two and a half hours, you know, yeah. and which is a great time for me to go to sleep, like 1030 or something. And then I'll get fucked up. And then around 10.30, like when I could be like, just close your eyes, go to bed, I'll start to come out of it. I'm like, I'll start to like sober up. No. And then I'll be like, oh, I got to go in again. So then I, I eat more. And then, <laughs> then I fall, I fall asleep and I'm like, oh, this feels good. I fall asleep. But then I'll wake up to like pee at like 2.30 in the morning and I'm like, oh, I'm fucking all sober now. This sucks. Wait, so wait, <laughs> so wait. Okay, let's walk this through because I am dying to, t I have, I have, oh, can someone go to my car and get my edibles? I think it's hailing right now. I just got these edibles for sleepy time. Oh, great. I want you to take a look at them and approve them. Okay. Hey. Maybe I should uh, sample them. Nadav, can we get someone, in, can we get someone out there to grab my, um, my, my, fanny pack out of my car my, my keys are in the thing i just got naked in that room it's in my fanny pack my fanny pack's in the back seat i wonder if i did i take a photo i have oh i didn't take a picture of you i found photos of you from 2008 july oh, 2008 naked naked fucking post and, those uh, do i look good you do yeah post them tomorrow yeah sure post them man i could use the heat Oh, these are going to get. But you know, the, here's the thing. Mega you can't likes. get. You can't get. I don't want you to get in trouble for uh, revenge porning me. Oh, really? Okay. That's the new thing. Well, See, there's man, one. I'm so good on progress. There's one that you, you're doing a tuck. I feel like that one could probably get flagged. Why? That's the one I definitely want posted. When you're tucking it? Yeah. But would, would then Instagram... no one can see my dick. How does my dick look in these pictures? You can't see them in either picture. Oh, post them right away. One of them, you're squatting. Nadav, that was so fucking quick. Did you break a window with a rock? Nope. How did you get in and out so quick? All this right. So, fast. so here are, by the way, I just got outed for being very fly. <laughs> you know, uh, I saw this. You heard of someone. a little brand called uh, Gucci? I saw someone wearing one of these and I couldn't remember quite who it was. And uh -huh. I thought I wouldn't mind one of those myself. Mm -hmm. And then I'm in Vegas, right? Mm -hmm. About to do two sold out shows. I think to myself, I'm going to give myself a treat. Stop by the Gucci store mm -hmm. and I buy one of these. 
and I fucking love it. I keep all my goodies in there. Yep. And then one day I'm wearing it, and the person who I saw who originally had one had it on, and I went, ah, fuck. <laughs> and what'd they say to you? This is meant for women. <laughs> It was your wife. Yeah, I know. I know. She had it on, and I went. I bought a woman's yeah she, fanny pack. She, she told goes, me she goes. Bert bought the fucking <laughs> fanny pack that I wear. I was like, it looked so good on you, and I wanted one, but I forgot. I didn't think. Oh yeah, that's the woman's one. It took me until 2019 before I finally was like, all right, I'll try one, and I fucking loved it. Dude, I wore it on a flight. I was like, see. oh, this is the best. Hey, this is a new segment on Two Bears One Cave. What's in your bag? Here we go. Wow. Yep. It's just drugs. <laughs> it is. All, oh, I think right, I just see. broke a blunt case. Jesus. I, I see some glass. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, Ooh, smell that. See. Where'd you get this? Uh, oh, Jesus. Yeah. That looks like some real danky shit right there, my man. Oh, I broke what this the one fuck? Too. Jesus, I broke all of these. Do you smoke these regularly? Oh, I have rocks in there? Oh, no wonder I put rocks in there. I collected these Dude, rocks. Dude, give me one of these. What about that one? Where do you get these? The, you get these at your store? I don't know. What are these? Here are my edibles. I, I really have broken Why is this glass. wrapped like this? I don't know. Caminos. These are Caminos. Have you ever had these? Yes. Are, are these the, these are the Let's sleepy. Let's see. Let's see. Now, let me see the case. Here. So, these are, so I, they, so here's my deal. When it comes to drugs, can we put drugs on this show? Yeah. A little late to ask, huh? Um, these should be fine. These have, these are like a CBD one though, right? It's like infused, but it's CBD. That's what it looks like, right? Yeah. It's got some CBD in there because it's good for anti. These are mild. These are super mild, man. Really? Yeah. Okay. So these, I can take one of these. Oh, uh, you're, you're going to need, you're going to need more than one. Really? Yes. How mild are these? Five, five. five one. What's five one mean? It's the ratio of uh, THC to, to CBD. So here's my, here, let me explain. Let me explain how I work, okay? okay. So these are my little go-to. By the way, so these are my party go-tos, okay? Okay. Do you smoke one of these entirely? No, 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 no. No, okay. So these are my party go-tos, right? Okay. So go to someone's house. They're having a party, I step outside and I enjoy one of these and I take my time with it. I don't worry. See, I have a, I have a problem about opening a beer, opening a glass of wine and then not finishing it. Yeah. But I, I try not to worry about that. Like I, I, when I go on stage, when we do, when I tour, that first show, I always pour double Tito's and soda. I always do. I have a big one, but I never touch it. And then I end up pouring it out. And then I felt bad about it. And I said, stop feeling bad about it. You get Tito's for free. Don't fucking worry about it, okay? Right. So then I started doing that with these. These are fucking awesome. These Which are, ones are those? Lowell Smokes. And it comes in this little pack, right? Yeah. It, and they're this big. They're kind of bigger. Yep. And then they got little matches right here. Oh, perfect. So it's all like self-contained. And it sits like this. It's super easy. Is this like, like a nightly thing you do? Not, not nightly. Not, well, not nightly, but not not nightly. <laughs> and so, but this is like, so say, say, like, yeah. say like you and Christina invite us over, right? Yeah. I go up to your top. I'm going to take one of these. I'm going to light it and I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to probably take like uh like five hits, right? Okay. I'll take a hit for two hits real quick. I'll wait to feel it. And then I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to puff it a little bit. I'm going to take another hit. I'm going to take another hit. And then I'm going to take one last hit because I go, you never know what's going to happen later, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that's these. These are mini grass. And these, I, I got to be honest with you, I'm obsessed with these because these are great when you're at home. I didn't realize you were such a... You're by yourself. You're right? so in and the... look how uh, tiny they are. Yeah. And that, those are awesome because. Wait, how much weed do you smoke? Not a lot because like these, so like, like last night, last night I knew I wanted to, I knew that I had a busy day today, right? Mm -hmm. I wanted to have a drink. Leanne goes, you want to have a signature cocktail? That's her buzzword. When she says signature cocktail, my dick gets hard. Because. My dick gets hard. Because it means. Because she's got this little fucking, hey, what's the name of my, th you don't know. Um, we have this cocktail thing. I love that you were asking them. What's the name of the thing it's I have a, at home? It's a... There you go. We have this little cocktail thing. I didn't realize you had this. Okay. It's... um, I, w I, wish, I, could, I wish I could remember the name of it. But what it does, it's like a... It's a Keurig type yeah. thing. Uh -huh. But you put a little cocktail in and it's all the boozes on the side. And you hit it and it makes you one cocktail. You can do a double or a single. But it really? makes you like a signature cocktail. And it's... 
fucking awesome. Now, when Leanne says signature cocktail, mm -hmm. I get excited. Yeah. So last night, she goes, signature cocktail? I go, yeah. She goes, what do you want? I said, surprise me, right? Yeah. But that means she's going to have one. The reason Leanne doesn't have one, that's it. The Bartesian. It's always... The Bartesian. It's fucking awesome. It's always better when the wife goes, you want to you get down with a vice real quick, right? And like, it, you're like, oh, finally. Fucking finally, yes. I like you. Finally, I'm not doing this by myself. Yeah sitting through Little Women or whatever the fuck movie you want to watch, but I can't complain because I'm drunk. She says last night, you want a signature cocktail? And I go, fuck yeah. Now, here's the other thing, right? Here's the other thing. Yeah. This blunt right there, that's a treat. That's a real treat. This one? That's when you say to yourself, we're going to have ourselves a night. Yeah. It hits really nice. It hits really nice. It doesn't, what's it, it called? Like, what's the... Uh... Uh, that one is... Mohammed, Okay. Um, El Blunto. Really? El Blunto. So that one's really nice. But Be I, careful because you do have broken glass I do there. have broken glass everywhere. Yeah. And I think it's in my drugs now. It probably is. I think this is what happened to Artie's nose. <laughs> is that bad? No. I think that's real. Um, and so... You also have a toothpick thing there too. <laughs> I need that. We're still having teeth problems. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. I chewed too much on this side. I need my teeth to take a break. I wish I could give my teeth a month off. Like where they could just relax, not chew anything. Oh yeah, you really do have oh. rocks. Oh yeah, I have rocks in there. So wait, hold on. So Leanne says last night, Leanne says, um, hey, let's have a signature cocktail. I get so fucking excited. Yeah. I go, and then I go, I'll make dinner, right? So I make dinner. I'm pulling out these. What'd you make? Uh, I miss your dinners. Uh, I made spaghetti meatballs in the Cook me a meatballs. fucking dinner, before, you know? Oh, let's do that before I leave. I would yeah. love to. We should go over to your house. Oh, we could bring all these to your house. Yeah. Oh, let's do that. And while my kids babysit, Sure. Anyway, so we're down one on each of these. I've smoked one out of each of these. These also come with matches, but the matches are gone. So Leanne says, let's have a signature cocktail. We have, oh, we have a signature cocktail, and I feel perfect, right? Yeah. We have dinner. We open a bottle of wine. We have dinner. And I know I can't open another bottle of wine. Like I, 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 that, That's all I'm allowed to have is a signature cocktail and a bottle of wine. Mm -hmm. And we're going to each have a glass, but I'm going to drink the rest of it. But I do want a little over the edge. Yeah. And that's where these little bad boys come in. Now, these ones are fast times. So, this is, you light this, mm -hmm. and I swear to God, you can smoke every inch of this, and it's not too much. Yeah. It's just like, and it's just like, it's just like a one hitter. You How can, strong are these? Those are pretty aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, when those, you got to really take your time with it. You got to be ready for an evening. Like, you got to, you got to watch Snoop Dogg smoke a blunt, mm -hmm. and he takes his time with it. He doesn't, it's not, He's not trying to get fucking wasted. He's trying to enjoy himself. Yeah. It's like with a bottle of wine. You take your time with it. You don't drink, uh, not the way I drink it, but like if you're watching Sebastian do it, he yeah. takes his time with it. Yeah. And he's like, oh yeah, I'm going to enjoy it. And yeah. me, I'm like, guzzle, guzzle, guzzle. Yes. So if I take I've my- seen you, I've seen you drink wine like it's Gatorade. Like <laughs> you fucking pull that. It like really comes down. I pull out. I like, here's the deal. I'm not just there to stain my teeth, okay? <laughs> I'm there for the buzz. Yeah, yeah. I like the buzz. And yeah. that's why and that's where I gotta pace myself. Q crack the new one. Here oh. We go. I'm going with right. mango mango mite. No, I want to do watermelon yeah. mojito too. Yeah. By the way, do I'm do right. Do I'm certain Bud Light Seltzer's like, hey, can we remove all the drugs off the table? Nope. Hmm. Thank you guys for your sponsorship. Thank you. So yeah, I paced myself. That was great. Yeah, and so that's, this has been my regiment. But these, so let me tell you what happened. So we go, a couple weeks ago, we went to San Diego, right? I said, I wouldn't mind having sleepy time. And it became what we would call problematic. Because sleepy time. So I've been smoking these wakey times uh -huh. a lot. And the wakey times are fun. They're giggly. You're thinking off the box. You're going, you're thinking, thinking of cool ideas, you know? Yeah. Brilliant fucking things. Like, I need to reinvent the fort, you know? Right. <laughs> but what about sleepy times? What does that do? Sleepy times, there was only one time I can remember that I felt like this before. And that was when I went to that basketball game with you. And you gave me your vape pen. And I go, and then I was fucking out of it and i was like what weed is this you're like i don't know and i went is this an indica and you're like maybe <laughs> and so 
I say to the girls, by the way, the, my girls don't entirely know this. So if you're watching this and your dad's dead, remember, I love you. Oh, you never know what year they're going to watch this. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> not this weekend. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> Girls, if you're watching this, I'm dead now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, oh uh, man, just so, give me give me this file. I put it on my phone. I gotta play you something. And I just, so I loved you. So, so I smoked this the quiet times. It's called Quiet Times. Miss Grass Quiet Times. By the way, this wouldn't be a this would be a great sponsor. Oh yeah, these little tiny these I, these low smokes would be a great sponsor too. I wouldn't mind some sponsorship off that blunt. So, um, so I smoke quiet times and I, it does not make me quiet. It makes me, um, super high. And I'm like, and you know, when you get high and all of a sudden you're like, Oh, I'm fucking high. Yeah. And a little bit of panic hits you in. Yes. And then you all of a sudden start realizing all your shortcomings mm -hmm. and you're like, well, time to race this with alcohol. See if we can mute these feelings. Cause this is why we drink. Yeah. <laughs> all these feelings marijuana is bringing up is the reason we drink. Uh oh, yeah. gug, 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 gug. <laughs> and then I fucking turn on Netflix and I'm like, fuck this movie looks awesome. And they're like, what? And I go, uh, uh, who mor who murdered the morons? Mormons? Mormons? No, but I thought it said morons, and now I'm crying, laughing, going, "Turn on the morons! I want to see morons get murdered." And the girls are like, "What's up with my dad? We're in a hotel room, by yeah, the way." Yeah. Leanne tells me it's haunted. I come back. I'm like, someone was just in the bathroom with me. My, and my God, my, by the way, I am not like Johnny Damon. I can, you can tell that I'm, you can't tell that I'm wasted. Yeah. But I am definitely thinking different. That photos I found of you naked. I remember I can take myself there. I remember that hotel room and I was, and you were like, check this out. And like, you got naked. And I was like, what the fuck? I go, what are you doing, man? And you're like, I'm pretty fucked up right now. And I go, I can't tell. Yeah. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, I am. Well, it was, it wasn't until Leanne said we turned on murdering morons and I fell asleep before the movie started. I mind you, I, I go, Oh, this is going to be awesome. This is going to put it in. And as I say, put it in, I start snoring and I'm like, <laughs> and they can't hear the movie. <laughs> and so they're like, oh they're like what a fun vacation. <laughs> they're like, they're like, dad, you need to go into your room. We have adjoining rooms. Yeah. And I don't go into my room. I walk into the hallway. <laughs> I get up, I'm like fucking ha half asleep, half out of it, and I can't get the chain off the door, and they're like, where the fuck is he going? And my wife woke up the next, Leanne woke up the next morning and was like, you were fucking gone. And, and I didn't want to go, oh, that was Little Miss Grass. <laughs> Quiet times. You're such a crazy dad. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I fucking. So do the girls now that they're not like little kids, do they know? That you like, they're fully aware of like how you party or no? I don't. I, th I don't know. I think they've always been aware. I think they've always. Is that hail again? Yeah. I think they've always been as subtly aware. And, you know, when when marijuana became legal, I think that was like a weird thing because you know, all of a sudden, you know, parents are doing it, and like in our fa in our friend circle, parents are doing it, and they're going, "Oh yeah, I like to have an edible before I go to bed," and, and that wasn't like weird. But to me, it was weird because I was like, my parents never. And then my dad started eating marijuana for anxiety and for his back. And he was like, I remember taking Georgia. This is probably, probably, I probably mean, shouldn't say this because I'm certain this is some sort of child endangerment. But I remember my dad and I were driving down Ventura and he was like, he was like, my back is really hurting and I, I, I need marijuana. And I was like, well, why don't I just go in and I'll get you marijuana. You watch Georgia. She's in the car. Georgia's like maybe 12 or whatever. And I went and bought, it sounds in, like child endangered to me. I know it's not because it's the same as buying a, a, a bottle of wine yeah. in California. But I remember buying my dad marijuana because his back hurt and I gave it to him in the car and Georgia's in the back. She's like, did you just buy Papa drugs? And I was like, yeah, but it's legal. It's But it's still in my head growing up yeah. in Florida. You did not do drugs. No, well, marijuana would be so like severe back then. Like, yeah. Yeah, growing up. I it's, mean. It's no different than, it is no, it's actually less worse than picking up a prescription of Oxycontin for my dad. Yeah, for sure it is. But it's, I remember, I remember being like, fuck, did I just fuck my kid up? No. But I was like, I was but like, yeah, I know it. what you mean. 
I know what you mean. March goes in like a lion and out like a lamb. That means April should be the softest, most comfortable month ever. Celebrate comfort this month with a new pair of Tommy John's underwears. When you're wearing Tommy John's underwears, you're that much more comfortable. So you can do everything better. That's why Tommy John doesn't have customers. They have fanatics. Fanatics who after 13 years and 10 thousands, tens of thousands five-star reviews call Tommy John's the most comfortable underwear ever because with dozens of comfort innovations, once you've tried Tommy John's underwear, you're never going to go back like breathability, lightweight, moisture wicking fabrics with four times the stretch of competing brands. I absolutely love wearing underwear when I work out. When I lift weights, I love wearing underwear. And a good pair of underwear can change the way you look at life. Dude, that feels like n- Dude. not like the underwear you buy at, you know, at the store that comes in a pack. That feels this, this feels like premium stuff. Over 13 million pairs sold. Balls across America love Tommy John's <laughs> underwear because everything stays in pace. No more flopping, sticking, chafing. They have a non-rolling waistband, which is good for us fucking fat guys. Anyway, get 20% off your first order right now at TommyJohn.com slash bears. That's 20% off loungewear and underwear at TommyJohn.com slash bears. TommyJohn.com slash bears. See website for full details. This episode of Two Bears, One Cave is brought to you by Policy Genius. April means a lot of not so fun things, getting fooled, getting rained on, and of course, getting your taxes done. So if you need a positive experience to balance it all out, consider shopping for home and auto insurance with Policy Genius. They help you find the best home and auto insurance rates but at a much lower price. In fact, they've saved customers up to $1,055 per year by reshopping their home and auto coverage. Getting started is easy. You go to policygenius.com, you answer a few quick questions about your property and yourself, and then they do all the work. They show you the rates that compare from nationwide, progressive, all state, compare all the rates, and then when you want to switch over, they do the switching for you, which is the best. You don't have to get involved in all of that. Policy Genius can promise that you won't leave their website feeling like a fool. They've saved customers up to $1,055 per year compared to their current home and auto policies. Head to policygenius.com to get started right now. Policy Genius, when it comes to insurance, it's nice to get it right. You said Johnny Damon. I guess I missed that. He, he must have he got a DUI recently? Yeah. He got a DUI. And man, you got to be prepared to get a DUI. Like, Everyone, like, I don't drink and drive, right? Right. I don't you are ever, good about that. I don't ever drink and drive. But that's not saying that I'm not prepared to get a DUI. Hit that. Like, sometimes I think, you know, I don't think anyone goes, no, I drink and drive all the time. That's my thing. Like, but sometimes people go, I'm fine. I can drive. That's part of why you just got to have a strict rule of I don't drink and drive. Did you watch the video? Uh, I watched the video. How is it? You know, it's, 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 uh, <laughs> I'm a huge Donnie, Johnny Damon fan. So, I, so part of me, you go, I don't want this happening to you. I don't want to see like a guy who I fucking loved watch playing baseball because of the way he played baseball. I don't like seeing him take down, get and take a down a notch. I like seeing him be soft or, or not soft, but like, but like fragile. Yeah. Cause like he just, it's like, what happens? I mean, can we watch oh, it? Yeah. They, well, let me explain it first. Cause I think okay. explaining it gives Set you it up. some insights. Get it ready to watch. He, and by the way, I, I hope that Johnny Damon's now laughing about this. I don't think he is, but probably not. So what he does is he, he, he kind of runs up on a curb, kind of switches lanes, and then stops way past the stop sign, and a cop's behind him the whole way. However, he is like a block from his house. So uh, he pulls into his house. Oh, so this is at his house? Yeah, I think it's at his ha- actual house. And so he, oh, he got into a scuffle? Yes. Oh, and I didn't that know is, any And that's this. his fucking wife. That's why you got to be prepared for your DUI. Like that, you need to think. It's the same thing with uh, with Karen's videotaping you. Yeah. My rule, this is my rule. Listen to what I say. If at any point, this is how it goes, Tommy, right? Yeah. If at any point my camera's up, you already lost. Yeah, yeah. You gotta have your, what's this? Alfa What? It's a treat. Oh. Hold on, let me finish my sentence. Okay, okay, okay. God damn it. That, I'm like a goddamn barracuda. <laughs> that was great. My mouth started watering and everything. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? So, so. <laughs> Your brain just went, Jesus. oh, it's a treat. That's crazy that I, I yeah. dropped everything. You did. <laughs> yeah. And then you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> like it's Christmas. I started unwrapping it. Just take a look at it. What it's, is it? It's a special, it's a South American treat. It's a For delight. Real? Yeah. No yeah. drugs in it. I gotta no, work out. No, 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 no. There's no drugs, man. 
Thanks, Ari. It's real. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. Actually, That's I, amazing. I, I, Karen brought it. You say thank you, Karen. Who, Karen who? Uh, I, I don't know. Oh, my God. Okay. Her last name is a little mouthful. Thanks. Gracias, Karen. That is fucking amazing. Yeah. That is amazing. She got it from the Argentine store. Oh, my God. I'm going to slow down. I'm going to slow down. Okay. I want to tell you the rest of the story. That's fucking so good. Yeah. You want to try that one? Yep. Uh-huh. Where? Oh, my God. This is fucking massive. What is this one? This is a uh, Havanets. Whoa. It's got dulce de leche and chocolate. That's gonna be a good one, man. I mean, do you just take it to the face? Take it. You don't. You don't. You just go. You can bite. You can take a bite well, of it. Well, I want to get sure I get everything, so I go oh. like that. No, no, do it. Flip it like this. I mean, you could try. Oh my god! How good is that? You could put cyanide in here. I still eat it. <laughs> Pussy doesn't taste as good. <laughs> Say thank you, Karen. Karen. You're the fucking best. Yeah. Oh. It's the chocolate you sell on the outside. It's so fucking good. It's good. <laughs> Mom, like when you see fat people. Yeah. And you go. How'd that happen? You go, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I could eat those until I got sick. Uh, here you go. How many are left in there? There's only two left. Three left. Yeah. There's one left of the alpajor. Oh, my God. Mm. Oh, my God. Mm. My head, my head, like, it was almost like you can tell orgasmic, like, chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun. Can, it's fun to watch you enjoy a trip. It's crazy that, to think that Spanish people showed up in Argentina or in, in South America and they're like, what are we going to do with this place? And then someone was like, let's kill all the brown people first. Well, I bet they were, I bet it, I bet it starts with try this. And he's yeah. like, oh, fuck this. We're killing everyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And subjugating them as so we yeah. get more of these. Hey, you guys have any gold or silver? We want that for sure too. God damn it. Yeah. That's so fucking good. Wait. I gotta understand this though, because we okay. We, so Johnny Damon, so I think this is his house. I think uh, this is his, his neighborhood, his gated community. So he gets here, he gets pulled over, and he's just too fucked up. And his and his chick, God bless her, she's trying to defend her man, but she gets out of the car. And the second you start getting out of the car, everyone's like guns drawn. So, Are we in Florida here? Oh, we're in Florida. I don't even... Okay. By the way, I don't know, but I oh. am certain we're in Florida. Okay. I am certain we're in fucking Florida. You want to just play the clip? Because Johnny's trying to do all the right things. So right here... He's, try, he's just trying to be like, hey guys, I'm good. That's what he's trying to do. He's doing He's doing the right things. Okay. Ha, ha. Hey, shut your door. Shut your door. Shut your door. Okay. Shut the door. What the fuck? Signal 44. Hey, back in the car. Huh? What's happening? Get back in the car. All right. Turn the car off. Turn the car off. Step it up, please. All right. He's talking entirely too much. Yeah. Uh -oh. Sit back here. All right. What are you doing? I'm going home. Okay, stand right here. Okay. Any weapons okay. in the car? No. Okay. Keep your hand out of your pocket. Okay. Lean against your car. Okay. Okay. What's going on here? Why is she getting out? Um, because we saw you following us. And yeah. Like, okay. It's a traffic stop. You don't get out of the car in a traffic stop. <laughs> what traffic stop? Do you see the police lights? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It just happened right Yeah. Here. Yeah. How much have you had to drink tonight? Um... A little bit. Just a little bit? Yeah. Right. So, yeah. Cover his own One, while I've been behind he's, you, he's you've wasted. left the lane multiple times. Just say a 
Okay, while I've been behind you, you've left your lane multiple times, and you actually struck the curb at one point on Main Street. And then the stop sign back there, you stopped all the way past the stop bar, the white line on the ground, you have to stop behind it. Hey, shut your door. Okay, this stay is, in the this car is where stay in the, car. the problem happens. Stay there. Hey, stay there. Sir. Sir. Stay yep. back over there. Um, um, Listen um, to me. Um, Step over there. Okay. Um, stay in the car. Oh, man, it breaks, oh, this breaks my heart. Stay in really? the car. Yeah. yeah. Stay go. in the. Get back in the car. This uh, is where the go, real go, legal go, problems go. happen. Stay back uh, there. Uh, hey, look, I'm here we go. Her Resisting arrest right there. Yeah. Stand over here. Hey, we are right. Stand but guess what? Over here. Someone else is getting we popped right for there. resisting get arrest right now. I will not. Get back in. I'm going to talk. Get back in the car. All right. Don't touch me. Yeah. Don't touch me. Oh, boy. Let Don't go. fucking Let go. touch me. Don't touch me. Let go. Okay. Don't right. touch me. gets my heart racing. Hey, stop. Uh, if, stop. Let, you stop. have to realize. Two, actually. Hey, hey, hey. We are, we are at Stop. Home Turn, right around. Turn around. Turn around. Okay. We Turn are, around. We are. Turn around. Okay. We are at home. Right okay. Hit, hit pause. Hit pause. Because Holy shit. there's a lot more of this. This is so good. This is so good. It's, it's, it's. Johnny Damon's not known for uh, his his speeches, uh -huh. so like he's not like he's. I don't mean this slight being a mean person, but he's not the, like the most intellectual baseball player they ever had. Like uh -huh. guys like him and Lenny Dykstra, they were just guys that fucking went hard. Yeah, and that's why you loved watching them play. Yeah, man. So that's when I say get ready for your DUI, right? <laughs> this is what I mean. This is what you gotta do. This is what you gotta get ready for. You gotta remember this. Your wife gets out of the car. Know your words quickly. Sir Taser. That's it. Yeah. Taser. That's he should have just said Sir Taser. Yeah. And then and then by the way, I bet he gets out of it. The guy tases his wife. Cop feels bad. He's like, fuck, yeah. he's Johnny Damon. Jesus, I just think her teeth wife. fell out when yeah. she hit the ground. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> by the way, if, if, if what's what I know Would you have Leanne teased? Tased? She gets out of the fucking car? Yeah. Yeah. You'd be like Taser. I'd be like, Sir Taser. Shoot her. Fucking shoot her. <laughs> Don't try to kill her, but definitely <laughs> fucking take, take her down. Yeah. Hit her in the quad. Dude, that's why I'm saying in today's society, you cannot think you're going to figure it out. Once cameras are on everyone. We're going to watch the rest of this. Don't you fucking think we're not watching this. Uh, wait till you see the most gullible guy in a fucking magic trick. It, the, the way. Make it full screen. The way they handcuffed Johnny Damon makes me believe you could do like a three card money to him all day long and it'd be like, ah, I lost it again. Let's see, let's see. Hold on. This is too good. Go ahead. I don't know what you are doing. Face the yeah. car. He's not, he's. Okay. Watch. He's so out of it. Listen to this. Get he's, out on the ground. He's trying right to get now. out. Listen to what he says. Hey, babe, walk home. Walk hey, home. secure her right <laughs> now. Yo, no, Bat Leo. Hey, babe. Walk Bat Leo. Home. Yeah, babe, walk home. Hey! What, what are you doing? Hey! Oh, so he's trying to get away right here? Yeah. Oh, the, the body cam fell? Body cam fell. Listen to what he says. Yeah, you are. You keep walking away. Hey. Get things on your back. Believe me. I am. Blue Lives Matter. Blue Lives Matter. No, this is. Blue lives matter. Just sit down, Corey. All right, all right. I will. Funny. Thank you. Hey, bro. I voted for Trump. I'm a good fucking guy, and Listen. I know people are trying to target me because I'm a Trump supporter. Trump supporter. I don't think that has anything to do with it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's why you got pulled over. See, this is hip hop. This That's is not, why you have to be prepared for, for your, your DUI. DUI. Yeah, now I'm starting to see it. You got. You can't. You can't let your tongue slip thinking. Not everyone's. Have you ever seen Reese Witherspoon's DUI? No, I've we're heard getting about that it. one lined up next. So wait, look, okay, this is why. This is why you need to be prepared. The second someone's camera's out, you've lost. Shut your fucking mouth. Say you're so right. I'm. I'm wrong. So wait, wait I apologize. let's go back to the beginning though. So this is the cop, right? And you're Johnny. Yeah, uh, sir. Sir, shut the door. I, st I, I shut the door. I, I'll tell you exactly what I do. Yeah. I've already. I've already planned my DUI. Okay. Um, interior lights on, hands on the thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Comes up to you. Be the cop. I'll okay. be Bert. Okay. Hey, what you doing over here, man? What are you doing? I was, I was, <clears throat> I was just trying to get home, sir. Okay, because you were you were kind of swerved between lanes. You hit the curb. You stopped ahead of the line. How much you had to drink tonight? I have been drinking. How much? Uh, I've had quite a few. Okay, so I'm gonna need you to step out of the car, sir. You might as well just 
do the field sobriety. Yeah. I've been drinking. I deserve a DUI. Okay. Come on to jail with me. Yeah. Yeah. And then you know what happens? None of this shit. Oh, I see. You're already going to jail. You're fucking wasted. Yeah, yeah. You're not talking your way out of it. You be honest. You own up to it. And just take your uh, DUI. And you take your fucking DUI. Yeah. Burt Christ, you got a DUI and you got to pray to God you're ready for your fucking mugshot. It's going to be, by the way, I don't want you to get one. I won't. But I won't. Could, you could heavily monetize Burt Christ, you're getting a mugshot. I mean, that would be a great shirt. Dude, that would be a great shirt. Yeah. I, I, I will not. Secret I don't want. I will not drink and drive, yeah. because, and I just don't drink. I just know that I don't drink and drive. Actually, I just have a rule. All the time I've known you, as much of a party psycho as you are, you've been the most responsible driver that I know. Yeah. You never, ever, ever drive after drinking. Yeah. You actually show up ob always not in your car. Like I, I never drive Uber. to yeah. the point where I almost didn't buy another car because I was like, yeah. my business manager was like, you don't drive. I don't know why. I've never driven to the store. I've never, I've driven to the store once or twice during Sober October. Yeah. But here it gets, keep going, my keep favorite going. part is when he gets handcuffed. I thought he's already. No, 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 no. He's not okay. handcuffed yet. He has, he's doing a field sobriety. Okay. Now. Neither here nor there right now. That's yeah. not why I'm stopping you. So. Where are you guys coming from tonight? Oh, London House. London, London House. House? What's yeah. that? Um, it's a guy who had a lot of money to... Um, but he's cuffed right now. Take yeah. care of uh, taxes and all that what? stuff. Google London House. That doesn't make any oh, sense. Just hang on. Having a good time there. Right. Yeah. So, okay, watch this. Field sobriety. Now, here's where I fucked wait, up. They're still T doing touch the field your, Touch your right heel to your left toe. There you go. You can start whenever you're ready. All right. So you can bloop, 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 a little bit. They had him stand on one foot, and I was like, and I said, I couldn't even do that sober. This is horrible. Yeah. There's a professional athlete. All right. That's where I go. I'm do actually doing that with my trainer, and I can't do that sober. Really? Yeah. Okay. Now, hit pause, hit pause, hit pause. This is, and I love Johnny Damon. I yeah. have to say that again. Yeah. This is where I go. I've never seen someone tricked so easily in my life. Right. Watch the way they put handcuffs on it. Oh, yeah. When they're like, okay. Here we go. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Okay, what I want you to do is stand with your feet shoulder width apart. <laughs> okay. okay, put your arms out like this. <laughs> kind of like back, kind of like you're flying like Superman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And lean forward just a little bit. Now you're gonna shut your eyes and count down from sixty to zero. All so right. six zero down to zero. Right. Okay. Sixty. This is how they put handcuffs on him. They tricked him. So fucking easy. Just keep counting for me. Okay. Just keep counting. He's like, oh, wait. He's still counting. And the guy's output, he's like, oh, 51, yeah, 50. Keep, keep going, keep going, Johnny. What are you guys doing to my watch? Keep going. Keep going. Just to help you count. He's still got man forearms. Yeah, look at those forearms. He is a fucking Just animal, bro. You have another set of cups I can use. Hey, bro, I'm not, I'm not. Now he realizes what's happening. He's like, wait, I'm not going to jail. Oh, no, no, you just got big wrists. That's no, all. yeah, you got big wrists. I'm just measuring your wrists. Yeah. Right. Just trying to see if you're I'm wrists. not trying to hurt you. Okay, I think Keep that's counting. it. Hold on. Wait, does he add it up here? He's like, no, oh. he's not. Keeps counting? He's still counting. <laughs> he's still counting. Oh, man. That is sad. Jeez. I got it, Kev. All right. Bro, I got just walk with me, all right? He's like, do you want me to keep counting? All right. Just go ahead and have a seat real quick. Right, yeah, yeah. No, it's just to rest. You're just going to rest here yeah. for a minute. My legs are killing me. Thanks, we'll, bro. We'll be right back with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going to talk about this later. Holy shit. Did the lady get arrested? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, watch Let me Sorry. talk to you. And listen, man, you got to respect a woman who's going to fucking fight a cop for her boyfriend. Yeah. Had they been African American, yeah. none of this would have happened. Yeah, they would have gotten away super dead. easy. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, they would have been like, you guys go, be on your way. Ah, oh, man. If they were black, they would have been shot the fuck up. Oh, with that door open. Hey, man, shut your door. Pop, 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 pop. Like, oh, uh, you didn't shut the door. Uh, I but, love. The the thing I the thing I'm uh, I can't stop and I I know I'm gonna get caught one time I understand it I've I've been caught in the past woman videotaped me with my, out my mask on she was like there's time I'm not wearing a mask and I was really? like you're a cunt I said it loud couldn't help it where 
Uh, the video is out there, I'm sure. Where was it? On my street. Oh, really? Yeah, I called her a cunt. I had a dream. I kicked a woman in the chest. I had a dream. You know, like they say you do stuff in the dream that you'd really do. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't cheat on my wife in my dreams. In my dreams, I don't cheat on the hand. Uh -huh. I kicked this woman in the chest, and I thought, <laughs> she, I, all I thought was, in the dream, she was really close to me. And I was like, you're going to give me coronavirus. And so to push her back, I did it with my foot, and I fucking kicked her through a window. And I went, I wonder if that's in my DNA. To do that to someone? Like, someone who, like, because there's a certain thing that happens when you, like, you, you can't deny your badness. Mm -hmm. Like, your badness is inherent, and it's in you. Not all of us are Christians. Not right. all of us are coming out. Did you get Reese Witherspoon's DUI? She, I mean, Reese Witherspoon, everyone loves Reese, Reese Witherspoon. Yeah. Everyone she loves. She actually, I remember the article about this. Like, do you know who I am? Right? Yeah. And that's why that. she wasn't ready for a DUI. Yeah. You got to get she prepared. Thought she, could, she thought she could skate around this. Okay. Let's and, see. Ma'am, what did I just tell you to do? I'd like to know what's going on. He's under arrest. If you don't get back I'm a U.S. citizen. I'm allowed to stand oh on American God. ground. What the fuck? Like, why? 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 You people, can't let any of these words come out of your mouth. A lot of this, though, I feel like people just weren't raised right. Like, don't you just know, like, when when a cop is potent, like, feeling like cuffing people just to be like, yes, sir, I'm chilling, I'm yes, quiet, sir. I sit down. Right there, I'm his, I'm her boyfriend. I yeah. say to the cop very politely, take her down to the ground. He's like, what? I'm like, I'm cuffed. I'd do it. Yeah. You need to take her down, man. Take her down hard. You have a baton? Yeah. I can use it across her fucking cheek. I, I, this is exactly what I'd say. Hands cuffed behind my back. Leanne comes out and goes, I'm a U.S. citizen. I go, I check that out. Check her back pocket. She's got a soft left shoulder. Take her down. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I would be so livid. This cop's about... So what happens here? Okay. Oh, it's... Any question I want to ask. Go ahead. Come on. You better not arrest me. Yes, Are you kidding me? No, I told you. I'm an American citizen. Uh, I told you to get in that car and stay in there, didn't I? This is beyond. I this is beyond. You fight with me. I promise this you. This is yeah. harassment. Yeah. You're yeah. harassing me as an American I citizen. The I have done nothing against the law. Yes, you have. You didn't obey my... I have to obey your order? Yes, you did. Reece. No, Reece. No, Reece. 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 nothing. Reece. That's I have to obey your orders? It's unreal. I'm now being arrested and handcuffed? Yep. Do you know my name, sir? Don't read enough. You don't need to know my name? Not quite yet. I'll get oh, that really? information. Okay. You're about to find out who I am. That's fine. I'm not real worried about you, ma'am. I done told you how things work. You want to get out and get up in my investigation? That's okay. Yes, sir, I do. Well, guess what? We have a law for that. It's called obstruction. I'm Looking obstructing your justice. Yep. Really? Yep. I'm being anti-American. Yep. Go ahead, sit down. Wow. Sit your butt first. It'd be a lot easier on this. Interesting. It's amazing. By the way, Rest. I want to drink amazing. with that Reese. Yeah. I want to meet that Reese. I yeah. want. I want to. I want to. I want to show up to her house, and I want her to have a glass of wine, like kind of spilling out with the bottle here, mm -hmm. and she's like, uh, "You ready to drink with an American citizen?" And I'm like. Fuck yes. yes. That's the reason. See, that's who, you know, that it's it's interesting because that's who she is. She looked at the ground for her mugshot. Oh, let's pull up some good mugshots. That's a beaut, by the way. She is still gorgeous in that mugshot. Who's the guy? Who is that guy? It's, uh, Ryan Felipe. <laughs> who is that? I don't know. That's her boyfriend at the time? By the way, you need to, uh, like, oh, the, here's the other part husband. of that. Husband, okay. You need to allow her to be deeply embarrassed because because I am certain I am certain she was fucking oh and it, well, I was gonna ask you if that was a uh, Leanne's hometown they were in and they were in Atlanta Georgia yeah so they were in good. Georgia she was shooting a movie she okay. was shooting Legally Blonde and what does it say James what James Toth is that and is he an agent yep. yeah I know that guy yeah type in James Toth see what what, what company he works for CAA. by the way I think we might have just fucked oh, up did. our careers talent agent yeah he's a 51 big... years old he could take me in a fist fight yeah, yeah. God, he, he was six one. He was a C. I think he was man. A big I'll CIA. tell you what. I'll tell you what. Whoever has him as their agent, yeah, it's a good agent. Did he say a fucking word? No, because he was ready for his DUI. He was ready. He said, "Hey, man, you yeah. got me. Bingo." Yeah.
cuff me. Let's go. If you sell stuff online, you're definitely in the right business. More people are shopping online right now than ever. And that means a lot of orders are coming in and a lot of orders need to be shipped out fast. That's why sellers like you need ShipStation. No matter how much you sell, ShipStation makes it super easy to manage and ship all your orders from all your sales channel faster, cheaper, and more efficiently import orders from any sales channel. Ship with any carrier, access discounted shopping rates, and automate just about any shipping task. You're going to spend a lot less time on shipping and a lot more time growing your business. And all I do is buy online. I buy so much shit online. Amazon, Etsy. Dude, I have a, I have a tomahawk from Etsy. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so you I, and, I, and all my business, a third of my business is selling stuff online. ShipStation funnels all your orders into one simple interface so you can manage from anywhere, even your cell phone. You get access to all the discounts with major carriers like US, UPS, FedEx, USPS, and easy compare carriers and choose the best solution. And you get the same businesses that are kind of the same discounts that are set aside for the Fortune 500, 400 companies. Mm -hmm. They come to you. Lots of five-star reviews. Um, ship more in less time. Use our offer code CAVE to get 60-day free trial now. That's two months of free, no hassle, stress-free shipping. Just go to ShipStation.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, type in CAVE. And that's ShipStation.com. Enter the code CAVE, ShipStation.com. Make ship happen. Look, I actually get overwhelmed by like constantly looking at my phone, like looking and, yeah. and sometimes to like decompress from looking, I just want to listen. And I, I'm, obs I'm going deeper with music. I listen to music now. I think like when I get out of the car, I put my, my earbuds in <laughs> and then I walk in the house. Listen to, I don't want the music to stop. It's I like music. discreet small earbuds, not those obnoxious yeah. white ones that stick out. You're like, what are you? Raycons, man. That's what's up. Raycons, They're listen. The best. They're awesome. You can wear them to work out. You can sweat in them. You can listen to audio, but any, anything, you know, podcasts, whatever you're into, no dangling wires or stems. Raycons come in a range of stylish colorways, but always with a comfortable in-ear fit for a more discreet look. And Ma Raycon makes great sound accessible to everyone. The price is uh, uh, a, a fraction of the price of the other premium audio brands. Raycon's offering 15% off all their products for our listeners. And here's what you've got to do to get it. Go to buyraycon.com slash bears. That's it. You'll get 15% off your entire Raycon order. So feel free to grab a pair and a spare. That's 15% off at buyraycon.com slash bears. That's B-U-Y-R-A-Y-C-O-N dot com slash bears. But he should have been ready for. He should have said, "Take, take her, her down,", down. Take because her down. then once he takes, once that cop takes her down, she's not speaking anymore. Yeah, and that's what you want to do. You want to cut those words in half. Leanne comes out barking her yap because she's had a few signature cocktails. Yeah, how does I'm she in, get real mouthy when she drinks? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, the fucking redneck comes out in her, and if it's been gin, we're going to jail that night. <laughs> if she's had some gin and a cop says something to her that she catches sideways, yeah. Mm, come on, man. She lost her virginity when she was in her teens. Like young teens. Uh, I think 12s or something. I don't know. It was so. Did you see the Woody young. Allen thing? The Woody Allen doc. Well, speaking of, what a transition. <laughs> Dude, fucking taser, man. Get taser. him to shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. I have a career I have to worry about. Right. That's, a, that's my point. It's like, we got a, we got a business here, Leanne. Maybe you're going to get mouthy to a cop. Sir, you're going to have to do something just, to this. the cop, you just go body slam. And they body go, slam. What? You go body slam her. Pick her up and just fucking body slam I her. swear to you. I swear to you, Tom. I swear to you. You will. And I'll probably get in trouble for this. If I ever get arrested and Leanne comes out and it's, and it, you will hear me say, take her down. <laughs> I'm being dead serious because I do not want to ruin my career over wh what you don't know. What you if she's say. permanently damaged? Like, like describe it. Okay. Um, she uh, well, she like breaks a couple bones, right? Like cracks a rib, and then she has like um, just like maybe some memory loss. Oh, and, okay. And she and she has trouble like uh, with words. Okay. She already fell on her face really hard one time. That's true. The, the teeth went through her lip. Yeah. I think she had a stroke. So you're not worried about it. Um, I, I, look, she comes from sturdy stock. If if my, I gotta be honest with you, I don't want to be married for. I don't want to be married to her if she can't take a few punches from a cop. Like, that's the woman I fell in love with. A woman who, if shit went down with a cop, she's in on it. Yeah. Do you want to be married to a, the kind of woman who can't get taken down? Like, you ever seen the chick that, like, that, uh, in the, that gets out in a bikini and the cop just throws her to the ground? 
And then she goes, yeah, I guy deserved it. Yeah. I don't know. I might've just made that up, but yeah, you, you, they gotta get in the world we live in. You're being videotaped all the time. True. All the time. When you think you're not being videotaped, you're being videotaped. All the time. That's true. I've done so much shit that's been caught on videotape where I've cringed. Not even realized. When I worked at Travel Channel, I remember just talking and just talking. And I remember my sound guy, Eric Beanie, going, hey, man, we're recording you. And I was like, yeah. And they're like, people will watch these tapes. Mm -hmm. And then some people will grab that and they'll have that and they'll hold on to it for the rest of their lives until you become famous and then they'll go what about bert standing outside cedar rapids giving his thought about dot 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 and yeah. i'm like holy fuck he goes do not speak when they go he goes i'll cut your mic the best i can but dude i listened to some fucking audio tapes of you no of other people I had this one can one sound guy one time, not my buddy Eric Beanie, right? I had another sound guy, not John Sales either. It was a guy I didn't know. But I knew that these two guys I trusted, John Sales and Eric Beanie, I trusted. When I started talking shit, they'd cut my mic. No matter what it was, they cut my mic. Meaning they can't hear it, no one can hear it. Cut my mic, drop my mic. So one time I'm working on a show, brand new production for travel, brand new production down in New Orleans. And I say to the sound guy, Do you God damn it, I'm dropping drugs everywhere. I say to the sound guy, I said, I said, uh, hey man, are you cu are you cutting my mic um, when when I'm off? And he goes, nope. And I went, is that like, would you cut my mic? He goes, I don't do that. And I said, who have you worked for? And he starts telling me. I said, you ever have uh, any compromising audio of them? And he goes, on my computer. I said, you maybe want to get a cocktail tonight and listen to some of that? And he goes, sure thing. And he played me compromising audio for so many fucking celebrities that I went, I was like, fucking note to self. Yeah, do note to self, but don't remember the note because there's no way you do. <laughs> you definitely. I'll tell you off air what, I'll tell you off air exactly what it was. Was it like some Papa John stuff? Yeah. Uh. And I was like, and he was like, yep, man, guy does me dirty. This goes everywhere. I was like, Jesus. I was like, Christ. holy shit. Not my two sound guys. My two sound guys, John Sales, Eric Beanie, fucking always took care of me. Always took care of me. The second anyone stopped doing audio, they drop your audio levels. No one hears you at all. They would they would go as far. These two guys would be like, because sometimes you do a, sh a pilot or you do a show and they'll give ears to all the execs and to the people that work at the company. Yeah. So you're doing, say, say you're doing a thing with Travelocity. Travelocity shows up. They give ears to Travelocity this so they can listen to everything. By the way, it is fascinating to get ears because you hear everyone talk. Yeah. Everyone talk. You know John, that, Sales, uh, John Sales, Eric Beanie, pull me aside. Everyone's got ears. I'm dropping your audio the second we're not recording. Did I tell you that this, uh, what happened to me when I did, remember, I mean, I don't even know, if, well, we know, we knew each other when I got the subway campaign, like fucking 15 years ago with yeah. Jared. Yeah. Oh yeah. So we, uh, I, so the way it goes is, uh, there's the first, there was the first audition where I fucking murdered. Right. Yeah. So you get the second call back, I had a great audition. Then third call back was with the director and the, this is for a campaign. So we're going to do a minimum of 10 commercials together, right? Oh, wow. 25 years old. And um, I go to that audition and it's the same day that I'm, it's the same day I'm headlining a show for the first time ever. So wow. I'm like, fuck. And all I'm thinking about is my stand up set. And I remember that the director was like, say it like this and give me line reads in the audition. And I'm like doing them. He's like, no, 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 say like, no, no, you know, I really want this. I'm like, I really, he goes, no, say like, I really like, and I'm, I don't know what's not working with him. I'm like, what are you, what are you doing? But I'm trying, I leave there. And I'm like, that didn't feel good. Later on, like a, a week later, they go, you, you got, you got it. And I was like, okay, great. Then they book it and we're flying out to New York and then we're shooting in Jersey for a few days. And they're, they're spending like three, four million dollars shooting the first few of these, right? So it's like a big commercial campaign. So I, I have a meeting with like some of the staff there you know, we're doing like wardrobe and going through this stuff. And the guy's like, yeah, man, um, I didn't know if we were going to use you or not because you, you bombed that last audition so hard. And I was like, really? He's like, yeah. I go, I didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. Like it, nothing made sense to me with this guy, the yeah. director. And the director said kind of weird shit to me during like the wardrobe meeting and stuff. And I was like, I don't really, I don't know what's going on with this guy. So we go shoot and he's doing like 
weird shit again. Say it like this, but go like when you do it, like say line and then do this with your face. And I'm like, and I'm looking at the producers like, what the fuck is, what kind of direction is this? This is crazy. So we're like, we're like most of the time, most of the way through like the first day. And I, and I grabbed the producers that were at the auditions and that, that like were fans to, to, they're the ones that ultimately like, we want to work with this guy. I go, hey, so how many of we, these we're going to do? And they we go, well, to start, we're going to do 10. And then like if it, the campaign gains steam, you'll just be shooting these like just constantly. I go, are we going to have different directors? And they go, yeah. I go, thank God, because this guy's out of his, he's a fucking asshole. Oh my God. And then they're like, oh yeah and i go well he's what is he saying i go he's saying like say it like this i go make this face i go no, nothing makes any sense that he's saying oh i know where so, this is going then they're like okay they're like yeah no there'll be different directors and then we uh we break and we go to lunch and a couple of people kind of look at me and then he pulls me aside oh man oh i've been there yeah and i was like what's up man he goes what's up and oh go, fuck oh i'm oh, i'm getting yeah he's like uh how you think it's going and i go eh, you know it's going all right i guess he goes yeah yeah maybe um maybe when you get back to la take some uh acting lessons or something you know and i go what's that and he goes you take some maybe take some acting lessons i go yeah you think i should do that and he goes yeah i do i go yeah have you directed things before and he's like, I've been a director for like 25 years, man. And I was like, oh, because I really couldn't tell. And he's like, oh, you can't tell? And I was like, I, I just, I, for me, I guess, you know, I'm not much of an experienced actor. I thought they were putting me with an inexperienced director. So maybe it's a match, you know? Oh, my God. And he's like, okay. And then he's like, yeah, you know, it's just, um, don't forget that yep. this stays on. And I was like, all right. And then. Uh, Talking. So I thought, I was like, these are going to be the worst few days of my young career at that point. And the next day, he actually was like, all right, when you walk out to here, just like riff. Just like, you know, the direction was like, land here, here's the, here's the topic and riff. And I riffed and they all started like, how, like cackling. Really? And then they called cut and he goes, that's why we hired you. Like, to, and I was like, I was like, okay, cool. He's like, this is this is who we wanted you to be, and I was like, you, you, I still don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So, that, and yeah, we did a, we did a few more, and then it never got picked up. And those, by the way, yes. those commercials, all exist. Really? Well, we shot two or three, but they've never been released, you know, because uh, Jared's still in jail. Probably, yeah. It's weird. I have his phone number. Call it. See what he happens. <laughs> call it. Do you really have his phone number? Unless I deleted it, call, I'll call it for my phone number. <laughs> Uh, let's see. There's no way it's a live number still. Uh, yeah, it's, it's still in there. Just call it. Just call it. Just call it. I guarantee you the guy that got his new phone number gets it all the time. Yeah, and see okay. if he pretends to be Jared. Okay, here we go. It's got to be disconnected. Nope. Jared Fogel. Say, Jared Fogel. It's Tom Segura. I'm on my podcast. Let's see what oh, he does. He's definitely in prison right now. Oh my God, Tom. If he has that same phone in prison. Oh, if he answers it. What if he goes, Tom? I'm praying he answers. Come on, answer the phone. Answer the phone, man. Oh. <laughs> huh? Do you have a fucking voicemail set up? <laughs> It's his phone. And cell block D doesn't have a fucking. Oh, no. And then it just cut off. It didn't go to voicemail. The person hung. Like, it just. We should okay. put that number out, see if anyone else can get back to it. <laughs> He's still in jail. What was he doing? He was fucking little kids? Mm, I think he was on, he was on uh, line, right? Like, I think he, they found. He was like flying little girls in to have sex with him, right? I don't remember. I don't, I don't 15 know. 15 years old. Oh, no. 15 years is what he was sentenced to. Oh, he should be getting out soon. I said eligible for parole like 2028 20, or something. Wait, what did he, what, what was the actual? Because I, I don't remember. I just remember that it had to do with child. Uh, distribution of receipt uh, of child pornography and traveling to engage in illicit sexual Ooh. contact with a minor. How old? Give me an age. Oh, my God. Oh, 
Ugh. What the fuck is wrong with him? He Just says younger uh, than 18. Younger than 18? That's, that's young enough for me. I got a fucking 16-year-old. Listen, Fogel knew the victims were younger than 18 and that they were being secretly recorded. In some cases, he knew their names, addresses, and socialized with them at events in Indiana. Oh, my God. Oh, oh fuck. You know, I remember, I think I've said this before, but um, so on the first night, we shot in Jersey, and you go back to the city. We were staying at the uh, W. One of the there's like four W's in New York. So we go back, and he's like, "Hey, man, you want to split a pizza?" And I was like, "I mean, don't you have to eat fresh, bro? Uh, like, you, is that all right?" What a weird. Yeah. Want to split go, a pizza? Yeah. I go okay. And it was he had his buddy, like his friend from you know childhood or something, and they're like, "They're such dicks to him, man." And I was like, "Who?" And he's like, "The subway people. They're always like watching his weight." telling him like that he's gaining weight again and he's like yeah it's such fucking bullshit and then he just orders like a extra large piece <laughs> i was like yeah okay cool man Dick. he was a, he was just a dork like you know yeah like the guy he was that's exactly how he was god damn it man I, and and he got to uh i'm telling you this the this thing yeah mike's always on i was trashing this guy in, have... in his ear I've trashed, I've trashed so many people. This guy's a piece of shit. This guy fucking directs. He's terrible. <sighs> and he's like, just remember, I've had so many interesting. As it's, I feel like I was really lucky to get to do television in a, uh, in a hey, you can fuck up and it's not going to go viral kind of way because I fucked up so much. Yeah, I mean, just fucked up. Like I remember doing a pilot, and getting so excited, and I was like, I hope this goes. And I remember the director goes, really? I said, what? And he goes, do you want to do this for the next ten years? And I was like what do you mean? He was like, I mean, it seems like a great pilot, but how about this? I remember drinking. He goes, how about we do really good on this one and they hire us again for something else? And I went, okay. And he goes, but not good enough to have to do this for 10 years. And I was like, what uh, kind of pilot was this? I can't tell you because it's oh. so specific. You can oh. Google the guy's name. Oh, <laughs> By the way, I ended up working with this guy three other times. Oh, you did? I loved him. I loved him. I'll tell you name, his name off. But he was just the fucking greatest. He was just like, he was a real fun guy. And because of that, we worked well together. And then whenever he had a job, he'd be like, yeah, you need a host. Get Bert. He's great. He'll do a great job. And then you get there and I was like, is this something I want to do work hard on? And he was like, oh, yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one. <laughs> or take kind of take yeah. a break on this one. He'd be like, he'd be like, yeah, come on. What are you going to do? But, but we had, I had so much fun working with this, this guy. This is, by the way, that's exactly how um, auditions go. You get an audition for something, you're like, this is an amazing, and then you put everything into it, and they're, you tell your agents, they're like, this this is really great, man, and then you send it off, and you just never hear again. You, you're you like, did you, did you send it? And they're like, we did, and everybody here thought it was great, and you're like, did, so I was like, is anyone gonna, and they're like, I don't, we'll follow up, and you just never hear, and then the thing, you're like, this is fucking stupid, and you don't prepare for it, so they're like, guess what? They want you. I they booked. want you to eat fucking meatball subs with Jared. I booked I booked a role on the shield as a cuck. Yeah. Without having to read. Really? I walked in the room and they went, That's our guy. And I went, Do you want me to read any of the sides? And they're like, No, 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 no. You're a guy who's watching a black guy fuck his wife. And I was like, And I you just look at me and you think that's what I look like? And they're like, Yep. <laughs> and I was like, Awesome, I got it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this yeah. is me. Yeah. This is me. Oh, do you have, have I ever told you the story? Yes. Yes. What's that girl's name? There you are. Look at that. I'm playing with my dick. I really fucking killed this role. Yeah, you did. That was really good. And then they talked to you here? Oh, yeah. She got mad at me. You, what do you mean? You know that, right? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, she got mad at me. For what? Uh, For touching my dick. Wait, that's the part, though. Yeah. I, I know I told You're you You're jacking this. off to that guy? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. I haven't, I haven't told you this story. I remember you telling me the story about, about this part and everything. So wait, so wait, this is actually a pretty good story. And I'm not trying to put this lady on blast. Do you know? Oh. I have told her, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I thought I've told it. I don't mean to put that lady on blast. Don't put that lady's face on there. Okay. Because I feel bad. She just, I was taking my role very aggressively, let's say. Oh. Yeah. You kept playing with your dick. No. And my Michael Chickalis is like, I like the choice. I go, what? And he goes, listen, we're going to hold her back there. We're gonna get some shots of you playing with your dick, okay? But don't let's not. She doesn't need to see it. Just you do it. You're doing it good. 
So you sit out the window, play with your dick, and we're just going to get some tights. <laughs> and so I was like, for real? Now I feel like an actor. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, you're killing it. So I go over to the window. They're like, action. So I'm looking through the window. You can see it. They, they use some of the shots of me playing with my dick. And, playing with my dick. and then my dick starts getting hard. And I'm like, yeah. okay. I'm like, and then, and like, I'm doing it for like a minute. It's a long time to play with your dick uh, on camera. Yeah. And then I'm like, wait, are they going to call cut? Like, did that's why I just keep going, and then I'm and I just imagine Michael Chiklis sitting in Video Village next to the director. Go, let's see if he comes. <laughs> let's see if he jerks off. I bet he jerks off. I got twenty bucks. Says a kid comes in his pants. <laughs> type in alpha male. Yeah, well, yeah, let me get real quick. Let's type in alpha male, as in male that you'd send, and then type in Bert Kreischer. I wonder if this is on there. Okay, go down. Alpha male on Vimeo. Okay. What is this? Okay, so this is a pi- uh, a pilot I shot. Okay, don't worry about the fucking acting. Don't just scoot forward into the sex scene. It's towards the end. Oh my god, you have a sex scene. So yeah, I have a sex scene, and I got rock hard, and was all but jamming it into this. Room. <laughs> shut up, shut up. Just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, <laughs> keep shit. going, keep going. Oh, look at this fucking fat face. <laughs> <laughs> Nadab, just go to the sex scene. I definitely want to see this sex scene. So <laughs> go to the a, sex scene. You're a mail carrier. I'm a mail carrier who doesn't it's realize. It's so funny to see. Is your that face. her? Keep going. Your face is ridiculous. Yeah, my face is so. But it's such a good loser. Is that you? Yeah. Happy birthday, Ricky. By the way, that's uh, that's um, Bruno. Who's the guy in uh, City Slickers? Oh yeah, that's yeah. his dad. So th- wait, what was this pilot shot for? Say go. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Go back. Go back. That's the sex scene. Okay. Can you play audio on this? Is there music playing on it? I don't know. So, yeah. So uh, this young lady, I don't know her name, no. but she is. She was hot, mm-hmm. and she is. And we grind in there, and I was wearing those male carrier pants. And they're like, I think if I think we may see your ass, so can you like take your pants off? And I was like, Look, I look so cute. You look cute. You got a nice head of hair. I gotta never shave my beard. Okay. I almost remember her name. Oh, that's right. She was in a wheelchair. Oh. And so, I was like, that was a weird way to walk away from that. And so, all right, you don't have was to. Was she play in a real wheelchair for real life? No, 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 oh. no. She's beautiful. And so we do the sex scene. She is in no bra, right? Yeah. And and like you can't deny the the fucking little things. And she's in I, if I'm not mistaken, she's in like boy shorts, like little tight boy shorts, yeah. meaning like panties, but that go a little bit past her leg. And they're like, can you show your ass a little bit? And I was like, what do you mean? They're like, I think we're going to see, we want to see your ass. So can you pull? And I was like, yeah, yeah, sure. In my head, I was like, there's no way I'll, got, I'll get hard. And however it happened, my dick went out of my boxers, out of the pants and was out. And I was like grinding on her going, Huh? And they were like, "Keep going, keep going." And I was, and I had to stop like three times. I was like, "I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come." I think I, I haven't done this with a chicken. Said, "Go back. Let me see this fucking sex scene again." I just want to. It's remember, only like a second though. I, but we did. We shot it for like a five minutes. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, guys, I don't fuck this long. Wait, I'm, is this is this like a end up like this? So who paid for this? Uh, I think Barry they, Katz. But they tried to sell this. Yeah, they tried to. I think they tried to sell it. I mean, she's got great skin. Yeah. I mean, it's like... Did she say anything about your heart on? No, nah, she was cool as fuck. Yeah, you know that, that actress cool was actually cool. She was like, yeah, I'm sure this is... It's the same way that there are creepy dudes out there that would only make a movie so they could do that to a woman. Yeah. There are cool chicks out there that are like, hey, man, I, it's okay. And then I'm sure there are fucking disgusting women that would make you feel like this big for it. Yeah, yeah. Just good people are good people. That was a good person. Yeah, that I, 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 that was the. <sighs> by the way, now everyone can find that fucking. I just realized everyone's gonna find that fucking movie. The views are gonna get a million views. Yeah. All of a sudden, someone's gonna go, "Hey, man, we'll want to buy Alpha Male now." Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna end up shooting that goddamn fucking movie. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by our partners at Whoop. This thing does not come off my wrist. This is the best fitness tracker, wearable fitness tracker I've ever used in my entire life. It tracks my sleep, my recovery and my strain. I use a strain coach every single day. Every morning, the first thing I do is I check my sleep to see how I recovered yesterday. The, the insight's incredible. The insight is amazing, and, and I don't know if it's just, but like the other day I recovered at 89%, so I'm full in the green, and I woke up feeling 
absolutely amazing and I've killed it on the treadmill. Uh, it All these insights let you know how well you slept. It's like having a personal trainer so it just lets you know your, what your body's ready to handle and how hard to push. And I watch other people. Nathan Florence uses his and he does videos and it you can put these videos on your Instagram and it shows your strain, your heart rate, all of it. It's freaking awesome. I would recommend this whoop to absolutely anyone. And I have, I recommended it to two dads that I train with that also lift weights with me. This is the best thing you can buy. If you want to lose weight, want to get in shape this summer, get yourself a whoop. And, and for all our listeners right now, if you've been thinking about giving a whoop a shot, there's no better time to give it a shot. For our listeners, you can save 15% off a whoop with the code BEARS. Go to whoop.com. That's W H O O P.com and use the code BEARS at checkout to save yourself 15% off today. Know yourself with personalized recovery, strain, and sleep insights from whoop. This episode of Two Bears, One Cave is brought to you by Blue Chew. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. It's time to get hard again. If you're not hard and you want to be, you got to give these a shot. Blue Chew's tablets help men achieve harder, stronger erections to combat all forms of erectile dysfunction. And that's what everyone's looking for, right? Harder, stronger, lasting, longer lasting hard-ons. Blue Chew is an online prescription service, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations about how you can't get hard, and no waiting in a line at the pharmacy where other people are like, are you here because you can't get hard? And it ships right to your door in a discreet package. It's absolutely perfect. So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code BEARS at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com. Use the promo code BEARS, B-E-A-R-S, to receive your first month free. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast. So um, back to the, uh, the topic of Woody Allen, though. Did you watch that? No. I know, but I got to be honest with you, I'm not rooting for him like, no. in life. So like, I don't really care one way or the other. Like I already kind of like not canceled him, but like, I never liked him. I never liked his movies. I didn't get them. To I, be honest with you. Yeah. I was, I was thinking along similar lines where I've seen movies where I go, that was enjoy Like I enjoyed it. That was good. His then, movies. I mean, I've seen a couple that I go, that was like what I, the one time I saw him sneeze in cocaine was funny, but that's all I, yeah, Annie Hall. I didn't Annie like, Hall. that I didn't, is Annie Hall. Oh, that, I, well, I liked it, I guess. Um, I liked, let's see. Yeah. That's the thing is I don't really, uh, okay. So I'm kind of with you when I go, I feel like my whole life I've been told that he's amazing and everything that I see, I basically go like, I guess it doesn't speak to me. Like, um, I don't know if it's like not being a neurotic New Yorker or whatever, yeah, it but doesn't I just speak go to me. like, I don't, I don't see what the, um, why people are so, like, so so excited by him i just i don't know man i, I got I, I i told someone i told a very famous comedian one time i was working with him and he was like uh what do you think of woody allen and i go i don't know man i go didn't he fuck his kid or something like that's and i didn't do yeah. the research but it's still enough research for me to go i don't know man you watch the child grow up i understand it's not your biological child but it yeah. just it re it reeked of creepy to me of course like i, I don't i don't know if I don't know, but I don't really care a ton if his ex-wife... Damn, I didn't know how old he was. So he's 85 right now? Fuck. I didn't know he was that old. That's pretty fucking old. But like, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if Mia Farrow is bitter. I'm sure she is. I'm sure she's angry. I don't know. I don't know if he molested his children. I, I'm not certain. I, I, I'd assume you'd believe a child. I, but I also know that... Mia Farrow is an actress, and most actresses are really fucked up. Real crazy. Yeah, and so I don't know. All I know is I saw that, that one. That one was pretty good. Mighty oh. Aphrodite. Yeah, all I know is that I knew that he dated Keep his going. Da stepdaughter, and I thought that was creepy. Yeah, of course. Just so that's it. I he just fucking, leave it at that. He married her. I guess that I only saw a part of the first episode, and they go like, he was never actually... Oh, I saw this one. He never actually adopted them those kids but, did he, but did yes he, know no, he played that role he played a paternal role yeah so it's it's super fucking let me tell you something i actually really like that one match point i like that one a lot yeah is that the one scarlett johansson's in yes she's in a few of his i think but that one wait does she does she disown him i don't know she actually have scarlett johansson by the way i just got an email stop eating on the fucking podcast suck my dick um hey uh See if Scarlett Johansson slammed him. She, she slammed must him. have. She has to. She, she has no way to she can exist in society without going. 
Yeah. I'm a woman. I worked with an abuser. Okay. There you go. Oh my God. Yeah. Look at that all way off. <laughs> what? Now, now I really feel for the guy who listens to the podcast. He's like, don't fucking heal the podcast. Oh my God. Okay. We perfect. Da, 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 da. Actually, what's going on in her marriage? Comment, caught me out. I was like, why are you going? Okay. I don't know. Where Where does it does it say? No, I don't know. These are so fucking good. I know, right? Here's a problem with this. Okay. Like, here's a, here's a problem. It was my wife FaceTiming me. Hold on. What's up? Is it recording? Yeah. Oh, sorry. What's I'm the matter? Do you need something? Nothing. I just wanted to see what your ETA was to come look at these trees. Hey, real quick. I'm on my I'm, 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 wait, way. Here, real quick. Tom said that if he was ever getting a DUI and yeah. Christina came out and tried to like get in the cop's face, he'd be like, taser, bro. Because you can't have a woman. You, he couldn't have his wife come out and, and do that. Is that. Don't you agree with that? I am so confused by your question. Okay, never mind. Just as long as you understand that that's what's going to happen. I love you, baby. <laughs> nice Wait, tracksuit. Go back. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, how do I feel? She says, how do I feel about Woody? Right? Yeah. Every, da, 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 the filmmaker is long denied. Keep gro- Scroll more. Um, I love Woody. I believe him, and I would work with him anytime. That's oh, wow. I guess I was wrong. But when was that? When was uh, that? And then type in. This was Scarlet 2009. Sh- yeah. 2009? Yeah, that's 2000, 2019, sorry. 19. Oh. And then okay. type in Scarlett Johansson canceled for supporting Woody Allen. Yeah. Because well, there's no way you're allowed to say that as a woman in Hollywood and get away with it. There's no way. Someone's going to hold her to the feet fire for that because hmm. I guarantee She's you. She's still in Marvel movies and stuff. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm not. And that cancels, like, cancels weird because yeah. there's part of it is like they canceled Pepe Le Pew. And I was like, I, I don't really give a fuck. I haven't been looking for Pepe Miss Le Pew. Miss Piggy. And now they're canceling Miss Piggy. So wait, what is that? Can you pull that up? Like what is going on? With, so they're saying what? That the Pepe character's gone? It's, it's, uh, it's, it's a guy, by the way, and no offense to this journalist, but. He, his take is a fucking Chappelle premise from 20 years ago. What is it? Chappelle's had this joke in one of his specials, um, Pepe Le Pew's a rapist. Okay. I don't know if that, I'm not quoting, don't quote me on any of this, but Chappelle had a premise about this and killing them softly where he was like, Pepe Le Pew's a rapist. Because Pepe Le Pew, I, by the way, I didn't know he was a rapist. I just thought French people smelled. Like that was my, uh, my take is that French people smell all as a kid. I didn't know he was trying to sexually assault them. Yeah, but they're saying Pepe Le Pew's behavior because he's consistently trying to uh, coerce a woman to have sex with him and hold him and lock the door and tie them up is it's rape. It's contributing to rape culture. Well, what's the um, what? Why Piggy though? Because Miss she's Piggy super aggressive and, to... and, and and has been doing that to Kermit the Frog. Uh, I thought it was goes like a fat pig kind of thing. Yeah, the, you know? oh, they're just canceling because she's overweight. Pig. Yeah, that would be one angle. I think it's see. Yeah. We gotta get rid of this fat fucking pig that we keep putting in everything. Can I just? (laughs) Can I just? (laughs) (laughs) Scroll down. (laughs) Jesus Christ! Uh, So we can cancel it. Another cancel him as Biggie. You're yeah. like, come on, man! It's a fucking not real. <laughs> but she is super aggressive to, towards Kermit. She is very aggressive towards Kermit. Wait, let me see the video of her like, raping Kermit. As the uh, oh, is this a, oh yeah, she's like oh, oh she fucked fuck. him up. <laughs> <laughs> As Johnny Damon's wife, she's the cop. <laughs> I got her. Oh. oh, dude, it's like, here's what happens is... She did harass him pretty hard. Is, is people go fucking cancel uh, Pepe yeah, Le Pew, and then, and then what happens is people who don't agree with that go yeah. then cancel Miss Piggy, well, and you're like, stop saying cancel! And I think this is bullshit, because I think Kermit liked it. Sort of like that um, that harassment story I told you about, <laughs> when I went to a place and the lady kind of harassed yes, me. Yes. It's like, it didn't really bother me, you know? Yeah. And I got harassed. I've been sexually harassed. I, yeah. mean, I, I mean... I've been sexually harassed where I didn't like it, where it was just consistent. And you're like, just fucking enough. Yeah, yeah. I was younger and good looking, though. Wait, wait, hold on. So, all right. It is kind of weird. You know what? It's weird when it's like kind of like a somebody that's out of being a, a viable sexual partner, even if you're not like, look, like you know what I mean? Like a much older person and they keep making the comment. And you're like, what the fuck, man? Like, what happened to me? Yeah, sure. Uh, she was older than me. And she kept grabbing my ass and saying stuff about, oh, look at how cute this ass is. Yeah. I was like, fine, fucking 10 times I'm good with it. And then at, 
And then I was like, and, and then I was pulled. I said, was it happening? I won't want to tell you where it happened because yeah. then you'll know exactly. You, you can figure out who it is. But I had to pull someone aside and say, I'm not comfortable with this. Can you make it stop? But not, don't go to her and, and yeah, tell yeah. her to make it stop because I don't want her to feel uncomfortable. Right. Like, just make it stop. Like, how you start make, grabbing how my do, ass. How did they, they make it stop? They didn't. It never stopped. And I just was like, I guess I was, I'll do it. I had a lady, and I'll tell you off mic, who kept making comments to me about my eyes and my lips. Over and over, like where you're just like, oh, it's like a, it's sweet at first, and then yeah. she's like, those fucking those lips. And I was like, hmm. And then she did uh, what I think is like it is kind of like harassment, where I was sitting like sitting here, and she stood above me, and like just caressed my face, and I was like, I don't like this at all. <laughs> but I just rolled with it. I didn't say a fucking thing. There was a dude. There was a black dude growing up. Who I'm. Um, almost certain was raping guys he was gay he went to a different school than we went to mm -hmm. and he was older he had been held back and he was bigger and stronger than everyone and when he when he when you would see him he'd like grab you and he'd touch you and he'd be like yeah you want that bitch and i remember i remember distinctly thinking this guy is like i don't fucking trust this like something's up about this guy and then someone was like, oh, yeah, dude, don't trust that guy. He, but this is back when homophobia was really big. Mm -hmm. And so, like, anyone, no, and like, there was no, like, forgiveness or, like, oh, yeah, he's gay. That's just how he is. But they were like, he, he's stronger than you, and if he wants to fuck dude, you, he will fuck you. I think you. we went to school with the same guy. Because uh, <laughs> there was a guy who I knew who was bigger and stronger than everyone and who everybody kind of assigned the alpha male role. Because this dude's genetics were fucking oh, insane. Oh, this guy was. Dude. His ass was up high. This guy, to multiple people in my class, they're like, hey, we, you know, we had a party over at Bert's house and we you know, crashed. And multiple people on different occasions were like, I, I woke up to him with his hands down my pants. Oh. And I was like, oh, f including a relative of mine. Yeah. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. And I was like, because it, it never, it never happened to me. I guess I was not attractive to him, but God damn it! Uh, it was pretty wild. It was pretty wild because also everybody. It's it's a unique situation where that's happening. You kind of can't believe it, and also it's somebody who could literally fuck everybody up. Like he was, he was a a really physically imposing person. I remember spending the night at a kid's house, and we, I woke up and came downstairs and they were holding the kid down on a butcher block shoving ice cubes up his asshole and i remember i was like i i remember just distinctly being having the feeling of i hope that doesn't happen to me yeah and just like kind of and then seeing the look on his face do you want to know something crazy ooh, ooh, fuck man so we, i know where this uh, i went to school with this kid when i'm studying in madrid so i it's three years after high school. Yeah. I'm in a bar in Madrid and the bathroom is downstairs. You know, when you go like the, the downstairs bathroom, I go down there and there's taking a leak. A couple stalls over is another American. So he's like, oh, where are you from? Blah, blah, blah. And I go, where do you go to school? And he says where he goes to school. And I go, I know someone who goes to school there. I say this guy's name. And he goes, you know him? And I go, yeah. He goes, he was in my fraternity. I go, what do you mean was? He goes, yeah, he left, man. He left. He uh, he had a big thing where we found we found all this gay porn in his room, and I get you know, like you said, it's like a yeah. homophobic time, and they like talked to him about it, and and then he fucking he left. He left school. Yeah, that's you know what's so funny about about that time. This is in a isn't it weird though in a bathroom in, in a bathroom in Madrid. I saw my uh, my little brother in the fraternity. Well, he was a virgin the entire time. They would say guys were gay in my fraternity, and I just I just didn't believe them. I was like, whatever, you guys. Oh, just, really? Blow me. Yeah, I was like, no one, happens. no one's like in my head. I just, and this sounds silly, but I just didn't think. I didn't think people were really gay. I just didn't. I wasn't, so I just didn't. Couldn't imagine how. Yeah. I don't. I just and I'm. I, I knew there were gay people, mm -hmm. but like, this sounds so horrible. But I didn't know they just they didn't wear like roller skates and 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 speedos you know like i thought that's what a gay, i didn't know like gay guys could just be a regular dude and be gay yeah 
So I go all through college. They had these f- a few guys, everyone said were gay in our fraternity. Yeah. I, I liked them. They were you, you could eat ecstasy with them, party. They were a little I, I didn't have a problem like with the dude rubbing on my back. <laughs> I didn't. I remember. I just. I just didn't. I was like, I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> Feels good, right? I See, that's how it starts. Those are the guys good? that eat XC. Yeah. Hey, man, you want to eat XC? I'll eat XC. You, like, you like having your back rubbed? I didn't mind it. It was fun. <laughs> I didn't fucking liked it. Uh, nothing feels better than a back rub, right? Dude, who gives a fuck? You want to cuddle a little bit? <laughs> Yes, but it's it, but I and this is how oblivious I was to like like to homosexuality. I just didn't I didn't know that meant they were gay, right? Yeah. So I fucking I go to New York. I'm walking uh, by uh, uh, what's the park right across from Sharp Entertainment, the uh, MacArthur Park, MacArthur mm-hmm. Park. I'm walking in MacArthur Park. I'm going to Sharp Entertainment. I think uh, maybe it was earlier than that. And I see uh, my little brother in the fraternity, uh, who I was a great guy. I fucking love this kid. Mm-hmm. And uh, and he he was a virgin, and um, and he partied. He was a fun fucking kid, right? Everyone always called him gay. I was like, he's, dude, he's not. He's just a good kid. <laughs> Stop busting his balls. Yeah. And he sees me, and it's like he saw a ghost. And he's like, I remember he just went Bird Kreischer, and I went, hey. Like I, yeah. I was like, shut up. What the fuck are you doing here? And yeah. he was like, he's like, I live in New York now. And I went, oh, I live in New York. Shut the fuck up. I was like, dude, we got a party together. And he cuts me off and he goes, I'm gay. And I went, what? And he goes, I'm gay. Like almost like, yeah. and, I was, and in my head, I was like, that's a weird thing to throw yeah. like right out. And I realize as he's telling me this, he's got a Puerto Rican guy's hand in his back pocket. They're like holding hands. And I went. It was so funny because I went, I wanted to go, shut the fuck up. Yeah. That's what they all said. And I yeah. didn't believe it. Yeah. But, but, I, but I wanted to, but I also wanted to go, Hey man, I don't give a fuck. Like I was like, I was like, cool. I was like, I don't do that. Happened to another guy. Another Wait, guy. did you guys, did you, what, what did you, did you guys talk longer? Did yeah, you? we talked and I was like, dude, we got to hang out. Like, I, I don't, I never, like, I didn't know that he was gay in college. I didn't care that he was gay in college. I didn't really didn't care when I lived in New York. I've been living in New York for like fucking 10 years. You think anyone gives a fuck if you, you know, I was like, you want a party? Let's go get a beer. I don't give a fuck. Bring the Puerto Rican guy. It's cute. And so I remember, and then that happened, that happened one other time is uh, in, in LA, this dude, uh, the way it worked, I'm trying to be uh, not specific, but the way it worked in high school is you sat alphabetical order, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So there's this dude that sat next to me, I mean, for four years. For four years, our names right next to each other. And I've, I've known this kid. I sat next to him every day. For every morning, for fucking 30 minutes, for four years, I sat next to this kid. A softer of a kid, meaning like not a football player or anything like that. Smaller, um, a little soft-spoken. But I've known him for four years. Uh, one day, he is... Uh, oh, this is a hard story to tell, trying to figure out how to tell it. He's at my old, He's at my old apartment, and he's doing headshots. And he's, you know, clearly out of the closet and, and he's telling my roommate at the time, you know, I grew up in Tampa. I went to school here and my buddy's like, I think my, my roommate might've gone to a high school there. He was like, no way. And he was like, yeah, I think so. And he goes, hey, actually, I think he's downstairs. He's like, oh, shut up. Yeah. I went to high school there. Let's go. So they walk downstairs and it's the kid I sat next to for four fucking years. And he walks in and he's in like a, like a. I'm not saying like a gay outfit, but he's but he's, pretty he's gay. gay. He's yeah, gay. Yeah. And he comes down and he sees me. And immediately, I remember thinking he went to high school in his head where he like closed up. Yeah. And I it, clearly, I it's clear he's gay. And I'm like, shut up. What's up, man? Like, oh my God, I haven't sa- fucking, I sat next to this guy fucking four years. And he just, same thing, I, I'm gay. And I was like, I don't give a fuck. And he was like, I know, but you know, no one knew in high school. And I was like, oh, who gives a f- shit? Yeah. But I remember that feeling of going like, of, of looking him looking in his eyes like, like, it's so crazy. I don't know where the fuck these stories are going. I don't know. Anyway, I like doing ecstasy. And and I'll tell you, that moment, I can tell you where I was. I was on Tennessee Street. We're riding the Jeep Cherokee. Mm-hmm. And one of, the, one of the four or five gay guys in our fraternity that they always called gay is rubbing my back. 
Another one's rubbing my legs. I'm in the middle. <laughs> Wait, the leg rub? We didn't hear about that one. Well, I mean, side. I was rubbing their legs too. You could so be talked into <laughs> fucking the guy. I could have. I <laughs> could definitely kiss the dude that night. If a good-looking, smart, like a guy who knows what he's doing, <laughs> wanted to, he could talk you into it. He could talk you into it. Name the guy. <laughs> I bet, I bet like John Hamm could do it to you. Oh, are you kidding me? Idris Elba. With that hog, I'd go yeah. put on some khakis, no underwear, please. <laughs> yeah. Fucking John Hamm could definitely get me in his bed. Jesus Christ. Um, that's a good time to wrap, I think. Yeah, I think that, yeah, yeah, let's wrap it up. Uh, thanks again. Shout out to the Sewing Brothers and um, shout out to Johnny Damon. Uh, <laughs> Johnny, be, we're big fans, man. I'm sorry you had to go through that, but be, get your next DUI ready, man. Be ready for your DUI. Be ready for your DUI. And tell your lady that she's going to get tased. Yeah. Um, light her up, bro. I don't need the up. fucking press. Light her up. She's got to shut the fuck up. All right. Um, I love you. I love you too. Love you. Love you guys. For Thank you for watching and listening. We'll see you next time. Bert and Tom. Tom and Bert. One goes topless while the other wears a shirt. Tom tells stories and Bert's the machine. There's not a chance in hell that they'll keep it clean. Here's what we call Two Bears One Cave. No scripts, a bit of booze, amateur protology. Dirty jokes, raunchy humor, no apologies. Here's what we call Two Bears One Cave.